the last time res the residents of Kogi State elected their governor on the 16th of November 2019, violence nearly, and I repeat, nearly marked the exercise. The election which returned the incumbent governor Yaya Bailo for his second and final term was disrupted in many polling units in Lokoja, the state capital, and many other parts of the state. With less than 72 hours to the governorship election, stakeholders and political parties in Kogi State have signed a peace accord to ensure a violence-free and fair election. The peace accord was signed on Wednesday in Lokoja in a ceremony organized by the Kuka Center and funded by the European Union. Joining us live to discuss this is the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Communications, Kogi State, Kingsley Fongo. Uh, Honorable Commissioner, good to have you on. Thank you very much for having me. Why is it that Kogi is somewhat ending the infamy of having its gubernatorial elections uh, being, being tainted with violence? Yesterday, reportedly, Three lives were lost. Why? Uh, thank you very much. Um, it, it's unfortunate um, that uh, uh, what happened uh, happened. Uh, but I would not um, agree completely uh, with the fact that electoral violence is uh, something that has to do with Kogi. It's a national issue. Um, and it should, it is something that should be addressed nationally uh, so that uh, there will be less desperation uh, for elections uh, around uh, the country. So it, it's not uh, peculiar to Kogi State. Uh, I am not saying that we are not witnessing uh, one or two incidents of violence in the state uh, as a result of um, the election. But I am saying, uh, by and large, it is a national issue and uh, it's not peculiar uh, to Kogi State. Uh, and you are very confident, too, that. Uh, voters on Saturday when they come out uh, will not be intimidated or will not be uh, will not be uh, not have to experience some of the reported instances of violence in the last governorship election four years four years ago. I, I don't uh, believe. I think um, we are improving. Um, in every election cycle, uh, what happened in the last one was um, was was not something that uh, you know some of us would uh, want to um, experience. Uh, let me let me give you an instance. The wife of um, the current deputy governor of the state uh, was shot at at, uh, at her polling unit. Uh, I think it took the intervention of security agencies to rescue um, the poor woman from the barriers of the guns of uh, the opposition um, talks. So it's, uh, it's something that um, I, I believe uh, there will be a lot of improvement. Uh, I've also studied the security architecture around this, um, the, the, uh, the election that will be coming up on Saturday. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, and I, I believe that um, the, the voters will be protected to come out and, um, and cast their votes. How is it going campaign-wise, especially when there is a perception out there that... Uh, uh, Governor Yaya Bello is like uh, installing uh, installing his own pulpit and he wants to to retire to go and play the Godfather. Uh, how is it? How, how, how is it going? Campaign wise. <laughs> yeah, you know you could have uh, you could have the you could have the impressions of the ignorance and then uh, people would uh, come out to you know to say a lot of things. But those of us that have worked very closely with the candidate, uh, we know he's not a puppet. We know he's a very brilliant young man, a very competent man with a lot of capacity to deliver at the highest level. And that's what is uh, coming to offer. And those who um, also know the governor know that it's not someone who, who they want to you know, control um, anyone. He, he's, not, he's not interested in that. I think what he wants is um, a better and the more prosperous could be state. And uh, you know, the, the, the choice of um, Ahmed Usman by the, uh, by the delegates uh, 
that voted during the primaries. Uh, it's an indication that they have uh, so much confidence in his capacity to deliver, uh, you know, going forward. So it is about a legacy that has been laid in the last seven and a half years, and someone who would take it forward. And that's why the slogan of um, the candidate is consolidation and continuity. So we're going to consolidate on what um, UIB has been able to do, and also continue with the very brilliant programs that have um, been able, that have been very helpful to the, to the state. So I, I think the people are comfortable with um, the system trade up Ahmed Usman Dodo, and they know that with him, Kogi is in safe hands, and Kogi will even be better. Uh, a friend was actually uh, telling me, uh, you know what? This election ought to be a kind of referendum on the performance of uh, of GYB Governor Yaya Bello, but that unfortunately the the heart of opponents uh, may seem to dissipate uh, dissipate what could have been an effective referendum. So. Um, uh, are you guys now uh, riding on the possibility of the many opposition uh, contestants almost uh, almost ushering, uh, ushering your party back into into the government house? I don't want to call it uh, uh, what you call it in in Kogi. No, we are not. We are not looking at it. Um, we, are, we are not looking at it that way. We are. We. We are very confident that um, the present administration has done very well, and we are also um, very confident that um, the candidate has learned statecraft from the best, um, the best governor in the history of our dear states. So it is still a referendum. Uh, you know, regardless of the number of uh, contestants that are out. Uh, some are just out to, to mark the register, um, some are serious contenders, some think they are serious but they are not actually serious, some think they are serious but are not taken serious by the people, it does not matter, they are in the, they are in the race and it's still a referendum and when the people say that um, GYB is playing a big role, he has to play a big role, he's the leader of the party in the state, he's the incumbent governor and uh, you know he would want um, a situation where his uh, projects, his policies and programs uh, are continued and even improved upon. And that's why um, someone from the system has emerged. It means that he understands the policies, the programs of this present administration that has done so much for the people. So when, when you talk about a referendum, it is a referendum. What we did between 2016 and 2019 spoke for us in 2019. And we won landslide in February and in March of 2019. And we came to November to re-elect our governor again. Uh, and it shows that um, we've even done more than we did. Uh, the, the slogan for the second uh, term is doing more for the people. And we have actually done uh, more for the people. When you look at the number of schools, the number of hospitals, the number, and all of that, then you would agree that we've done more. And the people will want that system to continue. So it is a referendum. I agree with that, absolutely. How are you people also, you as the as one of the senior PR uh, managers and PR experts in, in the government, how are you people also managing the perception of nepotism that he has picked, he has picked a successor from his village, they even said, and his local government, at the expense of uh, areas like Kogi West where they naturally, many politicians have naturally thought that uh, the gubernatorial pendulum will be swinging this time around. Uh, unfortunately, you are, you are also ancestrally from Kogi West. Uh, how are you people managing that? Uh... Let, me, let, me, let me give you um, this um, analogy. During the governorship primaries of our party, I am from Takete Delta Fungo in Mopamuru local government area, which is a part of Kogi West. Ahmed Usman Ododo won in my world. Despite the fact that there were some Kogi West people who were in the contest. What that tells you is that 
governance in the state is about capacity and competence. We no longer talk about where you come from. Uh, it, is a it is the political convenience of um, opportunists who talk about where you come from. When we go to the hospital to access Medicare, we do not ask where the medical doctor has come. We don't want to know whether it's an outsider or an equal person. What we want is good health. And when you board a taxi, you don't ask whether are you a house driver or an equal driver. What you want is to get your destination safely. So, but politicians with their opportunism would always talk about, oh, where, where is it coming from? And that, that has been punished in Kogi State with the good governance that UIB has brought. When you talk about nepotism, it, it, it's, quite, it's quite ridiculous. You know, in Kogi today, everybody knows that UIB um, is an apostle of unity, is an apostle of, um, uh, of equality, equity, justice, fairness. That has been um, his, his watchword. And he, he, he doesn't just talk about these things. Every day we see him practice it. We have worked with him very closely for the past seven and a half years, so we can speak about uh, what he uh, stands for. So it, it's not about where the candidate has come from. It has nothing to do with that. I would tell you that if I made this man to do where to be from the West, he would still have been the candidate. It's about his competence. It's about his capacity. It's about the belief that we have that he will take the state uh, into a more prosperous future. And uh, you are very confident that on Saturday he is going to uh, be the shoe in uh, the shoe in candidate amongst the other candidates. I am already in celebratory mode uh, as I'm here. We are very very confident. You know, we've spoken to co guides, um, we've um, interacted with them, and we know that on Saturday they will vote massively for the APC. It is a tradition for the APC to always win. Uh, we have always been winning since 2015 uh, to 2019 to 2023, uh, both the regular season and the off, off cycle elections. So it, it, it's, um, uh, it, it will be a very big upset, which, which I don't see happening for uh, APC. Uh, Fanwo, Fanwo. We are very uh, 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 win and win the landslide. I, 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 I think. The consideration now is not about whether IPC would win. Uh, it's about the, the the margin of victory. That's that's what is uh, that's what Kogats are debating uh, on. It's it's not about, it's not whether IPC will win or not. I APC must, will always. Win. I must ask you this before before uh, we close it. Uh, I I want to believe that there seems to be a strategy by your team to make sure that the candidate are uh, featured, if at all, on very few uh, media engagements. Uh, is we, I get to see you regularly across, I'm talking to you now, but one has seldom, I've not even seen a direct interview by, by the candidate himself. Is that a strategy that you people are putting into it because it's media shy or what? It's no strategy. It's no strategy. It's about um, it's about engagement. Uh, the candidate has been engaged. Uh, you know, has been talking to people at, at the grassroots, at the, at the rural, in the rural areas. You know, engaging with people directly and um, always on the road all the time. So uh, he, he does not have um, that luxury um, of time to uh, be visiting uh, one station and the other and all of that. But what we can what we can say is that. He's a very vibrant young man. Uh, I'm aware that um, he spoke uh, to some journalists today, granted interview today, and uh, we'll start seeing uh, those things in a couple of um, in a couple of hours from now. Uh, so he has been very busy, but I, I think he made out time today to talk to journalists uh, so that he'll be able to be able to have direct interaction with him. So it's no it's no trust strategy. He has been very busy. Uh, those you see on TV stations, uh, those candidates you see. Moving from one station to the other, uh, they are in Abuja permanently. They know uh, they have no base, uh, political base here in Kogi State. So what they want to do is to go to TV stations, and make spurious allegations, and then uh, you know do some kind of scam on green, and then uh, go and sit down in their home again. And the next day they are uh, visiting TV stations. Our candidate has been 
going from one place to the other, talking to people, reassuring them that he's going to consolidate and continue with the good legacies of that's a, that's a wonderful, that's a perfect place to leave it. I would really want to thank you for uh, guesting on Plus Politics and for putting some illumination from the perspective of an APC partisan uh, to developments in the gubernatorial contestation in Kobe. Thank you. Thank you for featuring. Thank you.